Some final words from the late, great Steve Jobs. I reached the pinnacle of success in the business world. In others' eyes, my life is an epitome of success. However, aside from work, I have little joy in the end. Wealth is only a fact of life that I am accustomed to. At this moment, lying on the sick bed and recalling my whole life, I realize that the recognition and wealth that I took so much pride in have paled and become meaningless in the face of impending death. Now it actually goes on quite a bit more. And the reason I'm reading this to you is because actually he never said it. <laughs> it's been analyzed. Analysts have looked at that text and it's quite a lengthy one. And they've said, A, it's not his writing style. B, it refers to money way too much. I don't know why I'm wearing my reading glasses talking to you. It refers to money way too much. And Steve was never really motivated by money. He needed money to uh, undertake his tasks, to go on his missions to revolutionize the world, but money wasn't the motivator. I'm a big fan of Steve Jobs. Um, I, I think the guy is a complete legend. In other videos, I'll tell you what I think about some of the other figures that uh, are in his uh, time. Uh, anyway, so those final words of Steve Jobs or some of the final words that were supposedly from Steve Jobs never took place. They're not Steve's. Nobody knows who wrote them, why they wrote them. I guess they get a kick out of it or something, but not the words of Steve Jobs. So <laughs> while I'm here, I'm very going to quickly mention that it gets very difficult to film in parks uh, here in Qatar because the security guards are briefed that if your camera is on a tripod or if your camera is a pro-grade camera, uh, you need a permit and they're gonna come and they're gonna shut you down very quickly. And in fact, I just set this up. I'm gonna show you my rig, by the way. Uh, this is, um, oh, I'm so wet. Uh, I'm gonna show you my rig when my damp fingers are capable of clicking on the camera icon. Thank you, got it eventually. So, uh, video. So this is, this is my rig. Uh, it all folds down very small and disappears into my bag nice and easily. That's my rig. It's a 3000 reel camera, which I bought in FNAC. Uh, ooh, I don't know, three years ago, definitely three years ago, maybe longer. It's a Sony ZV-10 <clears throat> for those uh, who are interested. Anyway, uh, the second you put your camera on a tripod or if your camera looks uh, pro-grade, if it looks like uh, you've got a very expensive camera, security will turn up very quickly. There's lots of cameras in the parks. They triangulate my position. Whew, they're here and they shut me down very quickly. I'm very glad that this morning the security guard could see sense. I explained that it's just for my little blog. I've just walked all the way from Zigzag Towers to here to film my little blog. I'm very hot, I'm very tired. And I would love just to do my three minutes to camera, pack it away and walk back to Zigzag, melting even more than I am presently. Uh, anyway, so thankfully he, he, saw, he saw sense and he let me finish my little piece to camera, which you're now watching. Uh, and the other reason why some days you'll see no content from me, even though I am walking in the park every day, some days when I come here, I can't find somewhere where there aren't people working. So this beautifully manicured park that you see behind me, that's maintained by an army of groundsmen in the morning. You won't believe it. They're like ants. They are everywhere. They are all over the place. When people turn up to this park later in the day, they have no idea how much work goes into manicuring it and making it this beautiful place that I can come and you can come and enjoy. Anyway, they're very noisy because they've got a lot of mechanized tools. They've got tractors, they've got buggies, they've got uh, hedge trimmers, trimmers, they've got all kinds of stuff to, to make what's behind me look magnificent. And all that noise means I just simply can't do a piece to camera. And so sometimes uh, I'll just pack up and go home with the intention of filming something at home and putting on the channel. But sometimes I get home, especially when you can see what I'm like. I have a nice cold shower, go to bed, and that's the end of me. Which is what I'm going to do right now. Just let this car go by. It 
warp factor 9. <laughs> so that's all for today. I will catch you tomorrow if I can find somewhere to record nice and quietly. Enjoy your Friday. Cheerio, everybody. Bye-bye.